How do you know when you found the right home? My name is Brian Tessier. This is Road to Close Quick Hacks. This is a fantastic question. I'm glad it was asked. We get viewers and people commenting and DMing me all the time with uh, things they want me to cover. And they said, hey, how do, how do I know when I found the right house? So there's multiple ways. Uh, one way is as a realtor that's been showing buyers houses since 2007, I can just feel when we walk in that one house, that right house, I can just feel it come into my soul. Uh, maybe it's an extraterrestrial being, um, ET, maybe ET comes and sits on my shoulder and says, this is the house for you. And I get that feeling and I, I can, you, you know how like when there's tension in a room, there's also good tension. So I can look at them and I'm like, oh, they feel it too. So um, buyers will come in and they, they just get a comforting feeling. And this all goes back to getting sellers to make the house as appealable as possible. I know that's not a word. So you make the landscaping, if you're a freestanding home, look inviting, right? Because it puts a good feeling into the buyers right now. Um, they walk in the front door. They want to smell the house, smell good. You don't have to overdo it with baked cookies or a ton of air fresheners. Just make sure it doesn't smell bad. It's better if it smells good. Um, and music, sometimes you get music. Now, it's all these things aren't going to overcome barriers that you know do not hit the buyer's checklist. But if it hits, they, there's a house that could hit all the check numbers, but maybe the buyers are a little skittish from they put in an offer previously and it got um, beat out multiple offers or it fell apart because of an inspection. So maybe they walked into that one home, it's a little bit skittish. Now, if you kind of make it comfortable for them, oh my God, I think I've done a video about this before. So sometimes there are vacant houses in the 90 degree summers that don't have air conditioning on. And sometimes there's vacant houses in the two degree winter that don't have heat on. Make sure your climate is correct, sellers. That's a little side note, so to speak. Nothing worse than walking into a house in 20 degree weather and you're talking to your buyer and your nose is running, the buyer's nose is running. Oh, conversely, you're in the on the third floor and there's no air conditioning on. It's 92 degrees out and it's 105 in the top floor. So that's more for sellers. Make it comfortable for the buyers. Um, so another way into, another way other than just kind of getting that feeling which comes with not viewing them on Zillow or Realtor.com. Um, it doesn't come with me doing video, or buyer's agents doing video tours for you. It comes with you physically going out and looking at houses multiple times. I mean, it has happened on the first time out, the buyer walked in, but maybe I'm showing them 10 houses. Let me just say this, it has never happened the first house the first time out. Um, they usually takes a couple of houses to understand what they don't like sometimes uh, to understand what they do like. So that's the feeling part of it. Of course, there is the statistical thing. Whether you have a checklist buyers physically um, or not, you still have a checklist up in your mind. Filters, must-haves, compromisable things. I think I just made up another word. That's two words I just made up. What I'm saying is you have a checklist and there's uh, maybe it has a pool. Maybe a pool's a maybe. Backyard it hits those checklists but maybe it also has a, you should also have a family budget. I talk about this a lot in my videos. You should know what your, and this really has nothing to do with real estate. This is more financial advice. You should know what your monthly, especially if you're gonna buy a home. If you don't have one now, that's okay. But if you're gonna buy a home, you should know, you should go back through your bills, your credit card statements, checks, uh, check, your checking account, and make a spreadsheet or even scribble it on a piece of paper. What are your bills are monthly going out? Don't forget to put those going out bills uh, in there as well. You know, those TGI Fridays, uh, uh, Monterey Bay, whatever, Th those counts. And then you put in your income. <laughs> Hopefully your income is exceeding uh, the, the, the debt, the money going out. If it's not, you wanna reconsider. But then you gotta, uh, you could subtract your rent if you're renting probably, or if you live at home, you don't have this bill. And then you, you would get your number from your lender They'll tell you a general number for your mortgage. And then when you identify the house you love, and it's, let's just say it's the house we just walked into and you got that feeling, oh my God, I love it. Take that uh, property and you give it to your lender. They will tell you what the taxes are, if there's any HOA fees, uh, your insurance, your insurance provider will give you the insurance number that will plug that in and your lender will give you almost down to the penny what you need to bring to closing and what your monthly bill will be. And you, gotta, you, you have to plug that into your monthly budget. The lender's not gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it. You have to do that. And that's also gonna help you know if it's the right house for you. And people always ask me, maybe I'll do another video is, how do I know what to offer? And that's a whole, that is a whole other video. Uh, and sometimes, I mean, I, we always look at market conditions, what's sold, et cetera, but sometimes you gotta, 
not sometimes, always, you gotta put your monthly budget against those, uh, the number of that house and see where it is. You, you might be shooting at the top of your price point, uh, might be right in a comfort zone, et cetera. So those are just a couple ways you will know when you have found the right house. And again, it is gonna be up to you to know. You're gonna get that feeling. Your agent may or may not get that feeling. And only you should know your personal finances. I, as a realtor, never know what my clients make. I don't wanna know any of their personal numbers. Uh, multiple reasons. One, you don't want that info coming across the web, text, whatever, and have to secure it. And second, I mean, you're an adult, you're buying a house, you should know your numbers. Myself and the lender and the home insurance company and the HOA can give you the numbers to plug in. So any other um, questions about how you know when you found the right house to put an offer in, you know, put the comments below, reply to the email. A bunch of you are DMing me. I certainly appreciate it, but I definitely would love to hear your thoughts. And listen, we're just trying to get you on your road to close. And this is a quick hack doing that. My name is Brian Tessier. We'll be right